All right, now let me see. Hmm, where did it go? Do, 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 do. You're really good at technology. I'm so bad. Well, I'm not really because I'm trying to figure out where I share it to Facebook. This is telling me to, I don't want that. I want something else. Hang on a sec. I haven't okay. shared it to Facebook in a while, so I just got to remember. Share, companion, reactions, apps, whiteboard, no. Down at the bottom, maybe in Zoom. I'm on Facebook. I got it. Yes. Got it. <laughs> Takes me a few. <laughs> I don't know why. I just back this out of this thing, but you know, okay. Continue as Christine. Yes. We are unable to complete your request. Try again. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's see. Where did you go? Well, I don't know what just happened. Let me try that again. No problem. Sometimes these things like me and sometimes they're like, who are you? Yeah, exactly. And sometimes I'm in Facebook and I don't even know I'm on Facebook. Well, there you go. Mm. Okay. So now we are on your timeline, public, go live. Let's do it. Do, do, do. Preparing. And then I'll look on my phone so I can see if we're there. Got it. Well done. Give me just a sec. And there we are. Beautiful. All right. We're on live. Yeah. Hi, Hello, my friend Colleen. Hi. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I think that we are on live. I hope that we are. If not, yeah. we'll get the recording. But, but we are yeah. going to talk all things Juice Plus today. So yeah. Colleen and I met when we did boss coaches together because, you know, we're boss ladies. So that's how we yeah. do Too um, right. And we kept in touch because both of us love Juice Plus. But mm. Colleen is a nurse and she's like the queen of all things Juice Plus. Like she knows all her stuff. So she's going to help us out today to learn more about it, why we should take it, why it's important and all that good stuff. So take it away. Hi. Thank you for having me on your live um, and I'm delighted. And again, if anybody has any questions, please, please, please pop them in. Um, <laughs> sorry. If they have questions, I'm going to send them. Directly. I'm, gonna... <laughs> I'm just so, a happy user of the product. I love it. I absolutely love it. So yeah. like, why do you love it, Chris? Like just even starting off well, on that. So when I started taking the omegas, I felt like it seriously helped me with all of my menopausal crazy um, it, it was really, really helpful to keep me more balanced. Yeah. And, you know, as much as I try to eat vegetables and I do eat a lot of vegetables, you can never really eat the recommended six servings, mm. six cups a day. It just doesn't yeah. happen. Yeah. So having the vegetable supplement is just, that's whole foods is super easy. Mm. You just can make sure you're getting enough as, as well as the fruits and the berries. The berries are great. Because I am allergic to blackberries and raspberries. Like I can't eat yeah. them unless they're cooked. But I have no problem taking the supplement. It hasn't caused rashes or any other problems for me. So Which I still incredible. have to get all the benefit without all the bad side effects for me. Yeah. Which that is incredible. I love to hear that. And I think a lot of people are worried as well. Like, is, yeah. is it just another supplementation? Is it, you know, what's in it? Is it really just food? Yeah. And you so mentioned something there as well that like we can't eat the amount that we want to eat. I don't care. And me and you are coaches. You know, we work with clients every day. We promote the importance of fiber and getting obviously our five a day. Right. And like even as us and I'm always honest and I know you are. I can't get that every day. And and like it's the variety of it as well. That's yeah. so important. We're not getting the variety. You get the standard broccoli or I know in Ireland broccoli. Yeah, I, I, eat, I tend to eat the same vegetables all the time. You know, yeah. like I eat my asparagus, I eat my broccoli, my green beans, you know, yeah. you get kind of in a rhythm of things. But this yeah. you're getting all the different things and you're getting yeah. it and you're getting all the good stuff. And I just think it's a great way to go. And in addition, I've also used the protein powders. Yeah. And I really, really dislike most. Um, plant-based. I, I use plant-based protein powders. I really don't. I've never found one that I liked until yeah. Juice Plus. And I actually didn't even realize that it was plant-based. Mm -hmm. um, I just assumed it was whey-based because that's, it yeah. didn't have that gritty. Yeah. And so once I use in recipes, because I'm not a really big shake. Yeah, I use it more. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, once I used it, I looked at the ingredients. I was like, oh, wow, this is, this is not whey based. So yeah. it's kind of like, oh, who knew? <laughs> And the joy of that is as well is obviously, you know, we'll talk, touch a bit on menopause as well. And the joy of that is like, you know, dairy and inflammation. So you're getting a plant based, you're getting dairy free, gluten free. It's low GI, meaning it's slow release sugar. So you're not getting that spike in blood sugars. It's not grainy. It tastes delicious. Yeah. It's not that standard plant. You know, some of the plants. Oh, yeah. It gets yucky. It gets so yeah. I actually really like to make it like a cookie dough. Yeah. So add just a tiny touch of almond milk, unsweetened almond milk, and mix it until it's like cookie dough. And then I eat it off the spoon. Like a oh, little. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> that sounds fabulous. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, sometimes I'll add some sugar-free chocolate chips or whatever in it. But yeah. It's, just a, it's a way to bump up the protein without having a big shake. Exactly. It's really hard to digest all that liquid in the shake and yeah. drink a gallon of water a day. And yeah. You know, and time. you find your ways of doing it. Do you Absolutely. know what I mean? Which I love as well. well um, yeah, is it, it doesn't have that residual gritty. Yeah. It makes it easy. It actually tastes like cookie dough instead yeah. of, you know. This ooky, ooky feeling. Yeah. So I'll, I'll touch base. Um, I know those, there's so many products, but I think like, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Colleen. I'm a nurse of 23 years and I specialize in diabetes, menopause, heart health, weight loss and fitness. Um Sorry. You're a phenomenal coach. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and I think for me, and I think it's the same for you, Chris, like we don't recommend something that we don't take ourselves. Our okay. credibility is at risk. Yep. We've worked hard to where we are. And I think like for me, the background of how I started in Juice Plus, it actually started with an injury that I had. So I injured my lower back, um, L4 and L5. I had severe sciatic pain. I wasn't able to sit for longer than a minute, minute and a half. Okay. And if I did, I'd be lying on the couch, like in the cobra pose, so that I'd be able to release the pain of the sciatic. So then I had to get up. Actually, we had a couple of team meetings, group meetings with boss coaches. Yeah. I, didn't I was know. on the floor lying flat, doing lift the laptop up here because <laughs> I, I couldn't know. sit the way I'm sitting now. So Again, the nurse in me, we're great at giving advice, but when it comes to taking medication, I hate taking medication. So I wanted to fight every part of it. So I ended up going down to the chiropractor route. Um, I met an amazing chiropractor and then a physical therapist. And while I was there, um, he introduced me to the Juice Plus. And there were two the right of me on a table. And I basically was just like, ugh can't believe you're involved in that. It's just all about weight loss, this gimmick, like, oh yeah, it's got all these fruit and veg. And I didn't even know about the fruit and veg while I was in it. I just assumed gimmick, permit scheme, uh, weight loss. That was my understanding of it. And how naive was I? Because I took it. He said to me, he said, look it, will you just, Chris is his name, will you just try it? Just try it for me. And I said, okay. What so did within you try first? Days, yeah, exactly. What did you try? What did, what uh, did the, the whole lot? I went fruit, veg, berries, and amigas. He was okay. he was that. saying like try fruit and veg, or you know, I said no, give me the lot. I'm not doing it for anything else. Just so you're telling me it's going to improve my energy, my concentration, my mood. My I was so stressed with my energy because obviously or my injury that I got really bad psoriasis at the top. So it was just like really scaly and raw. And uh, he said it'll help with that too. And then obviously with inflammation in my body, because my body was just inflamed. And then I was taking obviously diphene and Panadol as well to try and aid it and started on that. Within 10 days, I started to see the difference. The psoriasis left 10 days. Um, I also noticed my mood started to improve. My energy and concentration started to shift. So for me, I was just like, mm, is it just my thinking it is doing the trick? So I put my mom on it and she has a bit of a hip pain, a bit of knee pain. Within 14 days, she started to notice the improvement in her body. And she was on the fruit, the veg and the amigas. So, so I was like, OK, that's my second confirmation. And then I had a night out with the girls two weeks later. Like so to be nearly a month on them at this stage. And it was in Athlone, a small town. And literally they were like, what's different about you? Like they were absolutely amazing. Shout out to 
Olivia and Jackie, they literally, uh, they were my like little taxi in the car because I couldn't sit, I had to get out. I had to put back in again because I couldn't sit. So I had to either lie in the back seat or put the seat back. Um, but I was like, I still needed to get out. It's a long time to be in, in the house. So they said straight away, they were just like, there's a difference in you. There's a glow in you. What are you doing? And I told them and they were just like, Jesus Christ, the difference. So I was like, okay, that's friendships that they didn't know. They didn't have a clue. My mom, obviously my family unit and myself. And I was like, right, I have to start talking about these. So I went back in another um, a consultation and he said, would you be interested in, because of the findings, would you be interested in the product and starting your own business franchise in it? I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm still like, I'm happy enough just recommending it. And he he mentioned the clinical research. So I was like, okay, now you've got my attention. So again, I went, what is the clinical research? And he goes, there's over 42 clinical studies, or if not more, actually there's 50. And then there's 42 peer reviews. So because I've worked in the pharma industry before, I knew, okay, peer review, this is amazing. You know, there's, there's good clinical studies and it's not influenced by Juice Plus. So what that means is obviously Juice Plus doesn't, they know what's happening, but they don't, they have no control over the outcome. So to have 42 peer reviewed studies there to back up what they're talking about in regards to the products, and then to have the backing then of consultants, pediatricians, nurses, you know, the alternative therapy, holistic medicine, it's all there. So the evidence was here, the research is here, the, the people that I respect and look up to, like I respect absolutely on a professional level but most importantly the testimonials from my clients that when they started they were just like from other clients let's say they were just like blown away and testimonials of people who've been on it so my resistance then just ended up being okay I have to start it and and look at the business franchise that was my kind of back-end story well I'll, I'll tell you I mean I think one of the things you didn't mention I think one of the best benefits at least for me, it's kind of personal, but, yeah. but like digestion wise, I feel yeah. like, you know, it's really helped with digestion and, mm. you know, yeah. in the bathroom more regularly and whatever. Yeah. But, um, and I had mentioned to Colleen before we started that I'm like a little kid, I take the gummies that, but they're not loaded with sugar. They're just all natural. So that doesn't really matter. But she did tell me that I could take the capsule and put the whole capsule in a smoothie because it's a whole food. And yeah. I thought that was brilliant because I had never thought to do that. So yeah. I have, I have like two sets of everything. Cause I have the gummies from, for somebody like me, who's like a baby. Yeah. And then I have the, the tab or the pills for my husband because he takes, you know, he can take the capsules, but now yeah. that I know this, I'm going to use it differently. Yeah. Cause even the capsules is plant-based. So you don't even have to open up and, you know, pour the powder in. You just put it all in. You're literally getting food. Like, uh -huh. Isn't it fantastic? So whereas if you go into like you're getting 30 fruit, a variety of 30 fruit and veg and berries. And again, so that people know they're not plucked or picked until they're at their highest nutritional value. And then within four hours, they're broken down into the powder form and then any excess uh, water is taken out of them. So you're actually getting that the, the variety of fruit and veg and berries and also at the highest concentration as well. A, also within four hours you're getting that into a lovely capsule that plant-based as well it's made of rice and then you're consuming that so just to think like all of that goodness and what that means in regards to gut health as well is it's bioavailable so it means that it's avoiding the gut so anybody who's diabetic uh, Crohn's disease IBS um, anybody who's a gluten intolerance um you know, uh, God, there's so much, any GI issue at all, they can really have no, unless now there's something that says that they can't have a certain vegetable, let's say on a, on a cardiac side, if they were having iron ores done, just be careful, obviously, with the kale and the spinach, because it can influence that. Yeah. But again, you have no worries in regards to consuming this because it's getting into our bloodstream, which is absolutely incredible. So it's getting in there quicker because that's where we want it. We want it to get into our organs, get in where it needs to be. So um, that's that alone was massive because we don't know what we're getting in the shop. We don't know how long it's taken to get to the supermarket or to the I, shop. There's, and I was very honest before I did, before I did Juice Plus, 
I used to buy them off of Amazon, just the generic brand, thinking that it was better than nothing. Yeah. But when you look at the studies and when you look at the research and you can compare them, it's definitely, I mean, we're talking very little difference in price and the product is so much better. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm mistaken. I, I really didn't think there was a difference, but now I know better. Yeah. And like, it's again, education, as you said, like we were talking just for a minute before we came on. And again, it was my lack of an education that made me believe that it was a gimmick and a permit scheme and everything else. And I think it's really important as well that people understand, oh, well, you're just desperate to get rid of your stock and you have a load of stock in the house. And it's like, no, I have my own. I've been eager because I'm going to be talking a bit about these. All I have is the stuff I take myself. I don't buy in bulk. And a lot of people are like, oh, you're just doing this because you need to get rid of it. You've spent a fortune. That's your permit scheme because the big boy makes it anyway. You know what I mean? So the, the the sales team have to buy in in order then for them to make their profit back, which us, we don't. We don't oh, do I've any only, of that. I've only ever bought my own. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I have bought my grandson his little company. Yeah. That's the only and then company. if anybody samples them, I give you my own. I paid for that myself that I want to take. So it's it's literally my own if I want to share that. So just as long as people know that, and even if you sign up with the business, um, which is only seventeen fifty at the minute to to sign up for your own business franchise, you can just do nothing. You don't lose anything. You actually get thirty five euros worth of product back. So you get your seventeen fifty that you invest plus thirty five euros worth of product free. I, don't I mean, they're just literally giving it to you. <laughs> I did much with mine for the first, I don't know, six months or so, because I wanted yeah. to see how it affected me first. Like yes. I didn't want to put it out there until I knew for sure that it really made a difference for I me. I love that. And then yeah. once I knew, then I was like, okay, I, I feel comfortable now. Because yeah. I'm, I'm always a skeptic until I'm not, you know, I yeah. just didn't know. Yeah. Okay. This is something I trust. So. But we have to be, Chris, like we yeah, have to be, I, you know. I, everybody that knows me knows I don't go to the doctors because I, I am a skeptic. Uh, both my yeah. parents are misdiagnosed, you know, so I'm very, mm, very skeptical of doctors yeah. and, and yeah. of the pharmaceutical industry. I, you know, you tell me I need to take a pill. I'm going to find every reason not to take <laughs> not it. To take it. I'm, just, I'm just paranoid. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and rightly so. So the, that's two years yeah. misdiagnosed with ALS. They, they kept saying it was Lyme's disease and it was, uh, it was this and that. And, you know, not that there's a cure for ALS, but she sure could have gotten more healthy. early treatment. Yeah. So, yes. you know, it's, it's my dad constantly misdiagnosed with his stuff. So God bless them. They're both in heaven and everything's good. But I, I you know, I'm just not, I'm not trusting. Just yeah. Just this. Yeah. I like when, when we share our story and also people want it as well, which is amazing. I'm always saying, of course, we get a commission, like, of course, but it's not why I do it. I don't do it for that. I feel it's something I know that was beneficial to a time where I was on the floor to then literally saying, how could I not share this? This is wrong not to share it. And then to have all this evidence out there. And I will fight till the cows come home and people can ask questions as much as they want. Um, and we will answer them. They can get their research they can get the the testimonials from consultants from nurses it's all there if you want it from other mammies daddies kids like from the diabetes side i have to be very careful what i recommend because of the spikes and the sugars absolutely no problem recommending the protein no problem recommending the uh fruits the veg the berries and that's even to type ones so you know how much they need to be controlled right um so it's incredible, like the difference, like one of the girls, Amanda, she's absolutely incredible. Um, her son had um, has type one um, diabetes and she was always an advocate for getting him on good multivitamins. And again, she was bought in by the lovely packaging and the kiddies on the front of it and all this. And she was given her child this. She was also going to a diabetic nurse where she was living to make sure that her young baby was being minded. He was diagnosed obviously with type one. It's, it's through infection, you develop it. It's different to type two. So in regards to him, she was doing everything perfect for a mommy. She was controlling his insulin, minding his diet. He wasn't able to do it. She'd go into the, the nurse and 
The nurse is like, I don't understand. If you're following this plan, what is driving his sugars up? And she's like, I don't know. And the only thing that was left to do was to eliminate the multivitamin happy-go-lucky marketing thing. And the next thing she eliminated that, sugars came down and normalized. And she happened to be on the live and she caught um, her talking about the lovely Juice Plus and just went, right, I need to get my child on something because the immune system has to be minded as well. And he's in school and it needs to be protected and started on this and there was never an effect no changes no. nothing That's so awesome. it just shows you he's getting it from food right. there's no added sugar you're just getting the natural fabulous fructose um from your actual um yes. fruit yeah and that's like just one. That's like her life changed, you can imagine. And even more importantly, her, her little baby at the time, like he's now, I think, 10. And mm -hmm. he's just a changed child. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. um, but when we talk of the amigas and when we talk of menopause, so we know the big thread oh. of the alpuri menopause, early puri menopause. I'm post-menopause. Post post. It's, still a, it's still a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's a battlefield isn't it it's a hormonal storm nobody tells you i feel like they should have warned you more but now people are talking about it more but it's like your second adolescence like here it comes yay yeah the hot flashes the night sweats the weight gain it was great yeah it was like yay bring it on <laughs> well that's when i started studying like a maniac i'm like not yeah. me i don't want it no thank you yeah, yeah. and uh, I don't know if anybody, if anybody wants to have a look at my page, I had, um, Christine knows this as well, the amazing Louise McPhee. Uh -huh. um, she's a psychotherapist from Scotland. Um, she's absolutely incredible. Um, no more than your story, I'm sure, Chris, with the fabulous amigas. Uh, just check it out. Like she, she went through such an ordeal, such a change. She was early. She was actually going into it early because she, I let, I let her tell the story. Uh-huh. But she was suffering, you know, obviously with her anxiety and everything started to escalate. And at the time she was taking um, an alternative menopause uh, tablet. And she seen me talking about it and she said, Colleen, I'd love to try the Amigas. So I said, no problem at all and set her up and, and she went off and tried it. And being the, the therapist that she is and the researcher that she is, again, she wanted to make sure that the benefits she was having and the feeling obviously of her symptoms maybe de-escalating or you know reducing she kind of had a doubt and she went well is it the menopause tablet I'm taking is it the amigas or is it the uh, placebo effect so was she thinking like were you thinking that you're getting better but you're not really getting better yeah yeah, yeah. so she texts me and she said Colleen I'm coming off them I said okay why <laughs> she was like I was like you're doing really well and she was like no I'm going to come off them I said okay Within, I think, 10 days to two weeks, boom, everything escalated again. Mm -hmm. So she had like a freak attack. She was just like, no, need them again. Right. So she knew it wasn't um, placebo. She knew it wasn't the other product. So she is advocating this as well. And she's an absolute little legend. And I'm going to have her on again. And I'm sure you'll be talking to her, Christine. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I can't sing phrases enough about these ladies. Like... I'm not menopausal yet. I'm I'm 43 oh, years of age. Just wait. It's so fun. I, I just can't wait. But the only thing I can say is from when I injured my back, mentally, emotionally, physically, it really affected me because my body was inflamed with the injury. And also my mood, my my overall motivation, my constant, everything was gone because all I was constant, my body was trying to heal. And I was on nearly panic anxiety attack because I was like, I have an online business. I have my clients. They're my number one responsibility. How am I going to get my body up to where it needs to be? And then am I saying these are the only things that helped? No, aided in that was all the lovely support I had, both family, friends and, you know, the services with the chiropractor and the physical therapist. But for me, I knew that these were a game changer when it came to inflammation. And I thought, right, here I am working with ladies who are menopausal early as well and even post. And I was thinking they're they're going through like inflammation anyway. 
um, hormonal imbalance. They're going through lack of concentration. They're going through brain fog. They're going through moods that are off. They're down. They're angry. They're sad. Um, itchy skin. Like I have one lady and she used to feel that there was a spider crawling on her body the whole time. Like she was just absolutely. And then her anxiety went crazy. The poor devil. Um, her skin was loose and it was dry. She started to have really itchy ears. And this is like I'm only name. This is like on top of the night sweats and the lack of sleep and the the hot flashes as well. So I was just like, hold on a second. This has to be a wonder. Like, and even you know, hearing testimonials again, I felt the difference on it. So I started recommending these for these ladies as well because of the benefits. And you know, with as your estrogen starts to drop, our high risk of um, heart disease increases. Um, you know, we're looking at our LDL, which is our bad fats, that starts to increase because our good fats HDL starts to dip, our triglycerides go up, our overall total. And what I found was a lot of women were following a diet and they were looking at their hydration and their stress, but they were going into their GP and their cholesterol was starting to increase. Now, their diet wasn't perfect, but it wasn't bad. Like they weren't smokers, you know, they weren't drinkers, their fats were kind of well controlled. So they were, I was saying to them, just be careful because you could be slipping into it. So again, it's important to be, you know this, Chris, documenting your your symptoms, like writing them down. Well, you know, that actually made me think of something. I have a really good friend who I grew up with. She's like a sister to me. I've known her forever. Yeah. And she, she and I were talking and she said, I don't get this problem with my cholesterol. Like I'm eating so much better. I'm postmenopausal and my cholesterol is going the wrong direction. Yeah. And I never thought to talk to her about that, but I'm going to yeah. do it because she said, you know, they just want to give me medicine and, they, and I don't want to go on the medicine because once you go on the medicine, try to get off the medicine and then you get that whole roller coaster. But yeah. that's a good point because I never really thought about the benefits of it for cholesterol. So yeah, talk to her about that and give her some, yeah. you know, and I'll give it to her. But so again, if there's family history there, she will have, you know, she's at high risk, but if there isn't, and you know, you know, if you've been bad at your diet and you're kind of going a bit crazy, but when you think I'm doing like my workouts, I'm doing my strength training, I'm following the rules, but why is things not changing? Go back to your GP and obviously start to look at that side of it again. I think it's really, really important. You just whip out the prescription book and be like, here you go. Here you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just like, there's so much going on, so much more going on. So there's omega-3, 5, 7, and 9 in these. And again, omega-3 cannot be produced in the body, and neither can omega-6. 5 and 7 are another form of fatty acids that can be produced, but we need to help them as well in regards to supplementation or through food. So things like your lovely um, flax seeds, your nuts, your your healthy fats, like all of that yumminess that we're able to have. And again, I'm not saying just take this and don't look at food. We, we, we do both. You, you can yes. supplement and you can have the real stuff. And if you need it, you have the medication. It's, yeah. not, it's not one or the other, it's and. Yeah, exactly. It's incongruent so that everything, you, you bring everything to the problem that you can and eliminate it. Yeah, and try and fix it the natural way, you know. And like, I'm I have nothing against HRD. I'm like, go for it. Like, it's whatever works for you. It's your body. Where everyone's I, story I is completely. HRD, but I I goofed it all up. I was not paying yeah. attention, and I accidentally doubled one of my. Th- I threw everything off out of whack. So yeah. if you're gonna do HRT, pay attention. Don't be like me. Yeah. <laughs> like wow to me. Oh yeah. yeah. So you know, but. But I will say it did it did get me over that hump. It was a little yeah, and, and I'm I'm so on for that. Like I'm like whatever for you feel comfortable. A lot of people are fearful over talk to your GP, your nurse. I, I did the bioidentical, but right. you know things are I've decreased, so other things are more you know sad. But yeah. I also did the omegas. I did all the fruits and veggies. I did the yeah. the berries. I did anything else that I thought would naturally help me was my first line of defense, and it absolutely helped. It was yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's yeah. there. It's there to help you, like, you know, and we're just, I think, so familiar with 369. And it's like, we just go into the shop and we buy them. And obviously, we don't think, we just think, there they are. We'll take it. But are you getting the best? And when it comes to omega-3, omega, um, 
obviously with hormonal imbalance, um, obviously we're at higher risk of heart disease. It plays a massive role. So does five, so does seven, so does nine, but actually so does six. But unless your balance with omega-3 and omega-6 is abnormal, so they need to be kind of at the same balance, the omega-6 can actually have the opposite effect. So it could end up creating inflammation. So when you think of that, like you think 369, 369, but at least with these, you're getting three, five, six, or three, five, seven, and nine. Um, you're getting your vitamin D in here as well, and you're getting your zinc, by the way, so you can throw out whatever you have in your cupboard. So it's all in one little pocket. And then you we yeah. are so, at least in the US, we are so deficient in vitamin D. It's it's a big problem. I mean, they're they're even giving prescriptions for heavier doses of vitamin D. Oh my God. And you're full, like your weather is fabulous. I know. I live in a sunny area. I am outside all the time. And I was yeah. so deficient in vitamin D. They had to give me a prescription in vitamin D supplement. Oh my God. Well, I haven't had one since I've done the Juice Plus. Yeah. Wow. It's not been... Low anymore because you're getting it through vegetables as well. Like, and like, we're I'm in Ireland, right. and I think only in the last two days is the first time we've got a bit of sun in a month, like proper, that would like it's just me. been down, it's <laughs> like it's depression. Like, I would not um, be yeah, honest to god, like, so again, vitamin D is really important, and obviously, your magnesium is incredibly important, and then your calcium, and there's no point taking calcium unless you have to transport your vitamin D in order to help that um get into where it needs to go so in these these are a game changer and anybody here please reach out to christine order offer um it's an investment into your health i want everybody to know about these these supplements as well were the first supplement to get into the american journal of cardiology now you know how hard that is um to even get a supplement into that so that in itself another way to make it more credible for people who are on the shelf and um, you can't buy them in the in the shop they're plant-based so they avoid the fish so they don't have that fishy taste oh which is oh yes it's like ugh. I, even the ones that they say don't taste fishy i can taste it. i just can't do it I oh get, i get gaggy I'm like, yeah, honestly like i remember I, when i was younger i was following around with a spoonful of cod liver oil and i mean before i went to school and i used to actually gag like so for me I was just like yay but they they don't have that either um I, I I I could talk all day about these like in regards to your skin vitamin seven vitamin five elasticity the dryness oh my god they're they're just a game changer um you know I, I each amiga plays its role and I think in the menopause era it, until we know what estrogen does progesterone does testosterone does and then start to study okay so if i'm lacking if this is if the shift is happening in the hormone what does that do to me now and start looking at the symptoms we can go on all day i think there's nearly 400 million symptoms with with this but uh you know if we start to look at the 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 um symptoms that we're getting and go okay Oestrogen plays this role, dot, 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 dot. I've actually opposed to go up about it. And then say, right, how, how do I manage each of these in the most healthiest way? So first of all, is looking at your exercise, looking at your diet, realizing you have two brains, you have one here and you have one in your gut. And if the gut is off, this is going to be off because we all know when we eat high sugars, processed food, a lot of alcohol, and that adds up to in continued stress because our cortisol is through the roof. Oh, You're so literally playing with fire. Out. Yeah. And then our lipton, our ghrelin hormone is affected because we don't know, are we full, are we hungry? You know, our sleep is affected. These are incredible. Two hours before, it's just like, I'm like a child. The two hands are behind, like, I'm like, come and take me. <laughs> um, so, so, like, the, the benefit, night. yeah, two hours before bed. Okay, I take mine first thing in the morning. Hmm. So now I know. I, so yeah. All right. Two hours before bed. Anything in regards to hair loss? Now, I'm not going to, I'll tell you what the difference in my hair is. Is It's probably a little bit more shinier. Um, I definitely, I won't say thickness came from them. 
but it has helped people. My thickness came from my mother. She's very thick hair. I think um, it hasn't, hasn't been helped, but but I could say it hasn't hurt me. Yeah, absolutely. Conditionally, but look at the shine off your hair. Yeah, we'll go with that. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, but honest to God, please, please reach out to Christine and she'll give you the link. And they're just... I really wanted to come on and just talk about it a little bit more and just spread the word. And yeah, no, I really appreciate it. It's really been yeah. great because you certainly are way more knowledgeable than I am in this, but even as a user, I love it. So I just, you know, I wanted to educate people on it because you do, yeah. you can go along thinking that you're doing well for yourself and kind of get hoodwinked into buying the, you know, the not so great version. Yeah. And then thinking, and I always say, if you're trying anything, anything at all, it has to, ha you have to feel the benefits. Mm -hmm. You can't just be popping something into your mouth and just saying, well, I don't know. I don't know if there's a change or not. Or, you know, you have to start to go, well, I'm continuing to take it because I need it. Right. But am I feeling the benefits? And if you're not, guys, if you're you're taking something for, you know, months and months and months and months and you're just like, well, I can't feel anything. And you know, genuinely you're being consistent. Consistency is massive in this, by the way. Um, then you should start to see some changes from the inside and the outside. If you're not, stop spending your money and wasting your time because, you know, we're too easy popping in things. So let's just start actually taking control back instead of giving it all to the old menopause side of things. Let's start taking control back. Well, I don't know about you, but it has become big business. I, every day, you know, because we're sort of in that environment, maybe I get all the ads. Yeah. But I have never seen so many ads for menopause. It's like the advertiser brain was turned on and like menopause, everything. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I probably see a maybe five or six new supplements a day for menopause, whether it's for, you know, dryness or whether it's, you know, I don't know, crazy stuff. I'm like, who comes up with this stuff? Yeah. And I, it's, never stuff way. it's never, I've never even heard of some of this stuff. So yeah. You know, just beware, make sure that you're getting your, you know, you look at the studies and make sure that it's a, a reputable product before you start popping the suck, sucker in. Absolutely. And just so you know, as well, the American Olympic team was taking all of this. And this was your highest year that she got over 100 medals in the Olympics. And they've been taking them. I, I don't know, is it over a year? You did incredible, by the way. So Hi. did Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> Such a small, I think we came 16th, which is amazing. I think America came once or first. But again, I want the Irish team on this too. Um, it, Yeah, the American Olympic team is on it. So that's like, like, and they are monitored. Like they cannot be. They're very strict. Absolutely. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I can imagine. So like, I'm just so passionate about it. And I think the more we talk about it, the more we educate. And, and before I yab on anymore, if you hear from somebody, oh, that juice plus, that juice plus. Please ask them, number one, were you part of the business? And number two, did you take them? And if you if they say, no, I don't know about the business. I've never been in it. Well, they can't comment on it because they've never been in it. And if they say it's a permit scheme, ask them why. And again, lack of education. I was there. I swear, to, like I was there, but I just needed to ask the question and educate myself. And then for the people who were taking it and saying, oh, it's all a big gimmick and it's this, that and the other and I felt nothing. Ask them, were you consistent with it? And also, you don't have to take it all. You honestly don't. Like, I, I like to ask anybody, what are your struggles? And then I recommend what is needed. It's not about buy this, buy this, buy this. I don't want to give you something that I know is not going to work for you because you're not going to get, feel the benefits and you're not going to improve. So I'm sure you're the same, Chris. It's like, what's going on? Yeah. What, what are you struggling with? Absolutely. What do you need? And again, the importance of protein as well. I'd say, look at as well, like what's your flavors? I'm not going to tell you here. It's amazing. The chocolate, but all flavors are fabulous. But then you might hate chocolate, you know, I, so. I, I'm definitely, a, you know, fan of chocolate, but it's one of the, the vanilla one is actually. Nicer. Actually really good. I really thought I really, mm. I'm never a vanilla lover. But yeah. I really liked it. So I yeah, love it. I mean, it's about connecting the people with what's going to benefit them the most. Yeah. And there's different budgets and different prices. And, you know, when you when you break it down, it's just it's an investment into your health. And again, just ask the questions. We're here. We'll answer um, anytime at all. Chris, and thanks so much. One quick question before I let you go. 
No. If, am I correct? There is a children's program. Yes. Yes. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. So it's the HSF program. And how it works is if you buy the fruit or the fruit and the veg or the fruit, veg and berries or the fruit, veg, berries and amigas, you get four months supply of the fruit and veg for the kiddies gummies for free. <laughs> and also if you're um, I think it's above the age of 14, I think it's 14. Now, I will correct me now if there's, if there's anyone watching. I think it's 14 to 17. Um, you can get the capsules another four months free so you're literally getting four months of supplementation or sorry whole food products for your kids for free you know and it's good whole quality food and we want to give them and and the benefits of this just very quickly they're taking a variety they're taking up to 30 fruit and veg and berries right but also it's not about just taking these and not eating food it's yeah we'll say the line bridging the gap of what you should be and what you need to be taken but what i've noticed is is it makes you want to eat more fruit and veg do you know what i mean so it's yeah, nearly your body to to crave it. exactly yeah. so yeah thanks for reminding me on that i've no kiddies but i do talk about it <laughs> i do have beautiful nieces who take it and nephews so 100 percent, i recommend it and it's an absolute deal when it comes to free product there for you guys like so definitely reach out it's incredible and back to school and immune systems and all that kind of stuff and people pregnancy obviously consult your gp but like unless like there's certain things you're allergic to or whatever that you can't take you can there's there's women a lot of women who has taken these during pregnancy and post yeah that's good to that's know. how safe that's how safe they are love it i love yeah. it Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with us. I appreciate you. And I miss you. I miss talking. I miss you too. I know. I miss, oh, I need a trip over. I need a trip over. That's right. Come visit me. Come yeah. visit or me. you come over. You bring the whole lot. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to Ireland. No lie. Oh my I, God, you're my always husband, welcome. My husband's been, but I, I didn't get to go. Oh. I think he was. Manifest. Me. Manifest. Get it in that. Yeah. I know. First, you're I fully welcome to, to stay with me. First, I have to get my new grandbaby, and then after the new Ooh. grandbaby comes, then then I'll come. <laughs> Congratulations! I'm so exciting excited. times. I'm excited. Baby girl in November. It's exciting. Oh, lovely! Just before Christmas as well, and Thanksgiving. It's before mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Well, her due date is like right at Thanksgiving, so maybe. Oh, wow. Maybe before, maybe after, yeah. maybe during. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Can't wait to see the pictures. Oh, you know me. I'm that. Yeah. Post <laughs> <laughs> well girl thank you so much thank you so much honestly it means the world to me and sending you big hugs no. and again if you need anything at all reach out to me and please reach out to chris if you yeah, need any questions i'm already for them to you yeah. <laughs> but go to chris if you need these <laughs> love you girl bye love you too. take care bye